Hello, this is Mike McCloy with Twin Harbor Web Solutions, and this is just a quick video showing you how to add a Google Map to your website. Um, Google's made it really easy for us to add a nice Google Map with uh, Street View and a number of other features just right to your website, and I'm just going to go over with you how to do that. So the first thing we're going to do, go to Google, and uh, just type in an address of what you're looking for. So I'm just going to type in, a, let's say we'll do Babel, New York, and it puts, click on the map here, and uh, it just puts it in the center of town, so that's fine. So, if you want to add a Google map, the first thing you do is create a map exactly like you want it to appear on your site. So maybe you want it to be a satellite view, or maybe you want it to be a map view. Um, you can zoom in to where you want it to be, so I'll zoom in a few clicks here, and click on this. Sometimes you have street view available. So we'll click on street view, and now you'll see, okay, there's a picture of uh, a road in our town here. Um, I'm going to click that little arrow to expand it, so a lot of times it looks really nice. Let's say you wanted to show your business. Obviously, this is just a road, but if you wanted to show your business, you could put the street view on like this. And uh, maybe we'll move this little guy down into town where there are some businesses in here. There we are. There's the Babel Market. So let's say we wanted to post the Babel Market on uh, our website. You might want to show it right here like this. So um, now I've got this set up the way I want it. What I'm going to do is go up here in the corner and click on link. And right away you can click on paste <clears throat> HTML to embed in website or usually what I like to do is click this link right here, customize and preview. And that's going to pop open a window, which I have to shrink for the video a little bit here. And you're going to have some options, small, medium, large. The page we're about to post it in is actually pretty small, so I'll just put, I'll put a medium one in. And we can scroll down to some other options uh, right here. You can move things around. And uh, once you're ready, which this looks good, uh, copy and paste this HTML and embed in your website. So this code right here is the HTML code that makes this map happen. So I'm going to highlight the whole thing and hit copy. And what we're going to do, close this, is bounce on over to our website. Now this is a waypoint site. If you have a waypoint site, you can do it exactly as I'm about to here. Um, if you have any other type of website, that's just HTML code, will work, which will work anywhere. Um, one thing to keep in mind is if your page's code is not XHTML compliant, sometimes Google Maps get a little weird. But uh, that's a that's another video. So um, we're gonna go ahead and click Edit Page in this case. And on your Waypoint page, what you want to do is just add a widget that's going to allow you to put HTML code right into your page. Once it loads, you're going to have the Add a Widget link. We'll go ahead and click that. And the widget we want is the code block widget. So we'll just click Add a Widget. Now we've got the code block widget ready for us right here. When we click the gear, we're going to get the option to paste in that code right here. So I'm just going to hit Paste, and there's our code. These all, all these options are, uh, these are optional. You don't even have to really touch these in this case. One thing to make sure you don't set is um, contain an iframe. This is a new feature that allows you to do a number of different things with this, what it does is it puts whatever code you have into an iframe to sort of contain it. If you're using forms and different things, you have to do that. In this case, though, if you just happen to notice the first line in the code is an iframe, and there's no need to put an iframe in an iframe. There's one already there, so you don't check this option. Go ahead and click Save, and our Google Maps should appear right here. There we are. And you'll see it appears the exact way that we did it with the split view. So you can set up the map any way you like, copy and paste the code, and it's going to go ahead and display that map exactly how you wanted it to be. And there it is on our site. So when users come to your site, now they can click around. There's different options. If uh, you have a business listing, it might show up like this. This is a local real estate agent, looks like right here in town. And uh, that's how it works.